Welcome to the Boca Raton Resort and Club Temporary Lobby. If you've stayed here before, you know this as the Convention Center. The current main hotel and the tower, which we can see behind us, are under renovation right now in December 2020. So let's check out the temporary lobby of the Boca Raton Resort and Club here in Boca Raton, Florida. As you might be able to tell by the Christmas decorations, we are here during the holidays. We are here just a couple days past Christmas, so most of the holiday decorations should still be up. The convention center already has its own lobby, so it's kind of nice that they use this as a second lobby or a uh, temporary lobby because it's already one. And what a beautiful lobby it is here with the holiday decorations. We'll get a closer look. They have done a fantastic job of opening up this lobby and making it feel like a real hotel lobby. And this is definitely bigger than most hotel lobbies I've stayed at, even though it's just a convention center lobby. They've also added to the left is the check-in desk for the hotel and to the right over there is a brand new market which is a dining location or a temporary one at that it is nice that in addition to having a christmas tree and garland they also have a menorah and gifts there is definitely ample seating here we're gonna walk outside here and see if we can get anywhere near the main lobby i love here how you can see the side of the main hotel that has been painted right here which is orange and then looking up right there, that's the old color of the new hotel, which is pink. Coming around here, this is the entrance of the convention center side of the building. We're going to take a little bit of walk towards the front and see how far we can get. So now that I'm back on the street, over here is the entrance of the convention center we started at. We are going to turn this way and go towards the golf club right there, the tennis club right there, and the main hotel, which is just around the corner. Right now we are passing behind the spa, which is really, really nice here. This is the side entrance to the main hotel. If we were to go past these gates, that's how we would get into the main hotel. Right now it's gated up. Now, as we pass by the main club, I do want to apologize that I'm a bit muffled throughout the video. And I do apologize for being a little bit quiet during some of the video, a little bit muffled. I'm muffled because I'm wearing a mask and I'm quiet because I don't want to disturb the other residents of the hotel. So this is it, this is the side of the hotel. Now, I don't know if that's normal, but it looks like on the fifth hotel, there's some wood showing that might have been part of the renovations or it might just be repainted, I'm not sure. And this looks like about as far as we can go. This walk would typically bring us to the tower and to the front of the main hotel. But as I said, it is all under renovation right now. So what can we do? Well, if we go down this way and walk about half a mile to a three quarter mile, we will get to the Boca Bungalows. So let's take a look at that. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the bungalows at the Waldorf Astoria Boca Raton Resort and Club. It is a beautiful time of night. It is around Christmas time when I'm recording this, so that's why there's a lot of twinkly lights here. You know what? Let's get a better view. Let's go uh, up on that third level. Okay, here we are at the top of the main walkway. What is the bungalows? It's apartment style residences. They're classified as suites, but there are still people that live up here. And it's set up like a four leaf clover with one main section and then four on either side. Here's two of them right here. And here's the main one right behind me. That's a pretty waterfall. So surrounding the bungalows are actual residences, including the one right across from us. It's all a gated community here. So the rooms are set up in kind of two sections. You have your main room, and then you have a room off to the side that can be a double room. Now, I believe you can book these separately. We never have, because we have a family of five. So this is a nice way to get all five of us into one situation. We'll look at the rooms in a little bit. One thing that's also nice about the bungalows is it's pretty walkable and you can park around the entire outer rim, so you're never too far from your room. Here you can see the pool space. It's fairly large, and especially during COVID, it's pretty empty as well. 
but I've been here a lot, not during COVID, and it's been empty most of the time. This is the back of the hotel. There's just nice parks. This side has a dog park, which is really nice, and it's fenced in. This hotel is pet friendly. We did bring our pets here, but there over there, you can see a nice dog park. When it's open, the bungalows is not too far from the main hotel, which is at the base of that pink tower right behind us. I'm a little bit winded because I just ran up here. Let's take a really quick room tour. Okay, here we are at the bungalows. Starting here to the left, there is a table, some chairs, very big space, you can't really tell. There is a sofa, a table, night table. Um, right over here, we have the main entertainment space and a desk, a nice lounger chair over here. Across from the table over here is the kitchen. Let's turn on the lights. It comes with a fridge, a stove with an electric countertop, microwave, sink, and dishwasher. And I believe it is also fully stocked with plates, silverware. It has a Keurig and a toaster in here as well. And it comes with different blends for the Keurig, which is really nice. There's also an ice machine out in the hallway. So it comes with a ice tray and uh, bucket. Coming down this way, there's a hall closet, the main bedroom, with a king size bed, some storage on either side, closet over here, the entertainment space, along with some drawers, a chair, and then a bathroom. I believe this one only has one sink, but it does have a shower and a tub, which is nice. Across from the main bedroom, is a hall closet, which is pretty spacious. We use this to store all of our luggage. This is the double room. So here is the double room. It comes with a desk, two. I think these are twin size beds, a nice nightstand, possibly a view. We have one of a parking lot over here. There are some dressers, the TV. Right over here, there's a nice nook, which has the ice bucket, the Keurig, some uh, Keurig spaces. Oh, here we have a mini fridge down here. And then over to the left is just some storage space. In here, there is a closet. Let's turn on the lights. In here, there is a closet as well with some drawers down below, drawers up above, a safe and a closet, and a restroom as well, which has a sink, mirror, toilet, and shower, no bath. We requested a rollaway cot and they brought one. So uh, this room can fit three beds. This hotel is also pet friendly, which is nice, so we brought our dogs around. Now you cannot talk about the Boca Bungalows without talking about the Boca Beach Club. Yeah! So let's go there right now and take a little bit of a look at what it looks like right now during COVID. Welcome to the Boca Beach Club. In the back, you can see the pink tower of the main hotel. And here is the lobby. Let's uh, head right in and see what we can see. So to the left of entering is the check-in and valet and bell registration. There is some seats and dining out here, a nice fountain. You may recognize this hallway from the Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie Baywatch, which was a horrible movie, but he was in this hallway, which is pretty cool. Coming around the side here to go downstairs to the beach, it's pretty easy. There's just some nice stairs and uh, we'll take a look at the beach club. Coming out the bottom, the first thing you'll see is a reservation check-in. You do need a reservation in order to visit the pool and the beach. We are now here on the other side of the beach club. So this building right here that's angling here, this is the Boca Beach Club that we were just in. That section right there is the lobby. We came down here around to this side where we have our chairs. Like I said, it is by reservation only, so they'll have chairs ready for you. They have three pools, one here and two over there on that side, as well as some hot tubs. There's also one main dining location here, as well as a snack bar. Sometimes they will have a wood-burning pizza stove, along with a pokey bar. There is a regular bar right over there. On the first and second level over here, there are some private bungalows, which you can rent out or have reserved. Whenever we come, this is always our favorite place to sit because it is on the stone and grass. And if you look out, the beach is right there, right across the dune. 
Like I said earlier, the pool and beach do require reservations if you are staying here on the Boca Raton Resort and Club property. So that's the lobby. You come down the boardwalk and immediately to your right is a reservation hut. And then you can get any one of these chairs. They have these really gorgeous chairs with beautiful umbrellas that are right up against this beautiful beach. They also do have water sports. So they have jet skiing, these cool floaty boats, volleyball, paddle boardings, and kayaks as well. This is also just a very long beach. So if you ever wanna go for a walk along the beach, it goes for miles and miles and miles that way up towards Del Rey. And then you can go towards the jetty, which is right at the end of the Boca Raton Resort and Club Beach. So that's essentially it. We looked at the temporary main hotel, the Boca bungalows, including a room tour, and we got a look at the Boca Beach Club. This resort is fantastic, and there's so much I didn't get to show you, sometimes because it was closed, but most of the time because there is so much here at this resort. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helps with planning your next vacation, and maybe you'll stay here in the future. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.